I had someone comment on one of my San Diego apartment hunting videos that a balcony or outdoor space is king here and honestly, I have to agree. We've lived in this apartment for six months now and with views like this, the balcony is definitely a favorite among guests and residents alike. <laughs> I did not have a balcony in my previous Detroit apartment, and even if I did, I could not have enjoyed it year-round like I can here in sunny San Diego. Actually, it was really scary. There were these gigantic spiders that somehow survived the winters and came out during the summer, and they lived on every single high-rise in Detroit I did not understand, but I was afraid to even open my windows a little bit in case they got in. Oh. Thankfully, we don't have that problem here in San Diego. So today I'm gonna show you how I transformed my balcony into a sunbathing oasis. If you are new to this channel, first of all, welcome. I am glad you're here with me today. My name is Eshi and this is part three of my apartment makeover series. So don't forget to subscribe because my living room slash dining room is coming up very soon. And this is kind of like a sneak peek. And if you enjoyed today's video and would like to support me, please give this video a thumbs up and actually let me know in the comments down below what your favorite season is. We're getting a tad bit colder here in San Diego and by that I mean low 70s, <laughs> but I was born in August, I love the ocean and I moved to San Diego very specifically. So I'll give you one guess as to what my favorite season is. Let's start off by taking a look at the space. It is a 20 foot by seven foot, very long and narrow space. And I envisioned that one side would remain empty for some outside DIY space, and the other side would be for seating. The first thing I did was look for patio furniture and surprisingly, it can get really expensive. But I don't know if this is like the best kept secret or if I just think it is. But before you look at Wayfair or Target or Article, take a look at Home Depot. I totally forgot to take a video of us building this set because I was way too excited when it came in, but this Home Depot patio set was $699 for four pieces, coffee table, two chairs, and a love seat. And similar sets were going for like a couple hundred more easily. So I thought this was well worth it. The second thing I did was look for an outdoor rug and man, was that a freaking struggle? I just couldn't figure out the perfect sizing for this space because typically my interior design tip is to go with a rug that can hold all of your front legs of your furniture on the rug. But for this space, because I was only furnishing half of the balcony, I kind of felt like a bigger rug might make more sense, make the whole space look cozier, feel cozier, but you'll see the struggle I went through deciding between the two rugs that I got. Now I just have to decide if I think that this carpet is too small. I kind of feel like it is. I don't know. What do you guys think? I always feel like live plants are part of the finishing touches to a room. So I found this plant shop called Printwood that actually works with local greenhouses to deliver plants to your doorstep. And they actually have next door deliveries in a lot of areas in San Diego. So I thought it was really cool. They had a really good selection. So I uh, ordered more than I really should have. 
If you're in San Diego, definitely check them out. The link is in the description. This is absolutely not sponsored. I literally just found them and fell in love. So go check them out. And it is already time for the reveal, mostly because I was kind of bad at filming all of the little bits and pieces of me putting this space together in the span of a few months. So my bad, but I am hoping that you appreciate the space as much as I do. As you can see, I did go through with my plan of only decorating and furnishing one half of the space, which has come in handy actually for some of my DIY projects that required that outdoor space. There's definitely other things that I can foresee doing in this space in the future. I am always willing and able to add to my plant collection, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm also toying with the idea of doing twinkle lights up above, Though to hang twinkle lights along like the perimeter of the ceiling might be a tad bit dangerous, especially on the open sides. So maybe in the future I'll have a DIY cement and wood post, you know, to hang the lights off of. What do you guys think? Should I do it in this space? Let me know in the comments down below. I hope you like my zen relaxation space as much as I do. And don't forget to come back every week for other DIY and attainable interior design content. Thanks for spending your day with me and I will see you guys next time. <laughs>